to International Scale Model, I'm Lee. Today we're going to do a review of something that has really caught my attention recently and something that I love so much. I got in contact with the owner of the company and said, right, okay, I must be a part of this because this stuff is absolutely fantastic. Now, what we're looking at is a product called Form Card, and this is how you get it. It's a packet with three of these card-like things in there. Um, and I have to say, I saw this on Kickstarter a while ago um, and I fell in love with it and I just thought the idea was so simple yet so innovative um, and uh, the applications really and truly are endless for it. Um, I can sit here and just keep reeling off ideas. Uh, I've sat here before I did the video, I thought, well, what can I show? And I'm not joking, I just came up with idea after idea, after use after use after use after use after use. And I just thought, well, it's it's... It's crazy to, to see if I can nail down a few. I will show you a couple that I've done in that, but this stuff is phenomenal and I absolutely truly love it. And yes, we are selling it on the website at UMP, um, but that's because I fell in love with this product and I want an endless supply of it. And the way to do that is to sell it. <laughs> um, but uh, basically uh, what you'll get here in a packet is obviously three of these, you can see from the overhead, it's, it's the color's gone a little bit, but uh, you get all different shapes, uh, all different uh, sorry uh, colours and everything. You can they just come in random packs, or you can order black and whites and things like that. So let me just pop those over there because I just want to. There you go, that's better. So you can see what I'm doing. And that's basically it. As you can see, it's got a little form card pressed in there. But apart from that, it's just a solid piece of plastic, credit card size, fits in your wallet, uh, fits in your purse, your handbag, or wherever you want to put it, or anything like that. Now, I could go into all the mechanics of it and everything, but what I'm going to do is, uh, Peter is the owner of Form Guard, very nice guy as well. Um, he's done a video, uh, a presentation for his Kickstarter thing. So what I think I'll do is I'll show you the video and then you get the general gist of what I'm talking about. Um, and then we'll come back and I'll show you some applications and how to use it, how I use it and everything as well. So uh, over to Peter. This is Form Card, a handy pocket-sized card of meltable bioplastic that you can use to make, fix and modify the world around you. You can mould it quickly and simply to make little solutions to everyday problems. When it's cool, it's really strong like nylon so you can make solid, durable solutions with it. and then you can reheat it again and again to adapt, change and reuse it. Because it's a handy card size, you can keep one in your pocket, wallet, kitchen drawer or toolbox so that it's there whenever and wherever it's needed. And because you know it melts in a cup of hot water, that might be in a cafe to fix a broken umbrella or around a campfire to fix a broken tent pole. It's strong enough for quick solutions to emergency situations like when you've forgotten a tool for a job or a handle breaks on something. Plastic has got a bit of a bad name. It's associated with a cheap, disposable world in which things break easily and then end up in the bin. Form card is the opposite of that world. When it's very hot, it sticks to other plastics so you can actually use it to instantly fix things, say a plastic shovel when you're on holiday. There are loads of amazing applications and we'll be posting more examples online as the project develops. Hi, I'm Peter Marigold, the designer and developer of Formcard. Low temperature thermoplastics have been around for a very long time and I've been working with them for the last couple of years. I've been running public workshops to explore their potential for use in our everyday lives and I've developed Formcard based on these experiences. Normally these thermoplastics are supplied in granulated form which makes them awkward to use. The granules have to be squashed together which is messy, wasteful and sometimes even painful. This has restricted their use to people who are familiar with making things but I believe that this material has a place in everyone's kitchen drawer, toolbox and backpack like blue tack or sellotape so I developed it into a flat card form that would always be around and always be ready to use. 
the size and thickness of the card is exactly the right amount of material for the quick types of fixes that are needed. It fits in your wallet and it fits in a cup, so you can take it and use it anywhere you can find hot water. It's quick, clean, simple, instant and fun. We've made FormCard affordable as an everyday product and are now producing them in loads of amazing colours for every possible application. I want FormCard to reach everyone who thinks about fixing things instantly when they break. Just take one out of your pocket, drop it into hot water and fix things. It's simple. Thanks for watching and please support our project. FormCard. Melt. Mould. Make. Mend. Right, well, okay, there you go. Uh, I think from that you can get the idea of what it's all about. Um, and when I saw that video, I just thought, wow, it did actually blow me away. It's one of those uh, eureka moments, you know, just thinking, God, why isn't this more popular? Why isn't this so, it's so simple and so easy to use and it could, it could permeate its way into every day of your life and every aspect of your life. I tell you now, I, I have a packet of this in the car I have a packet on the quad bike. I have one of these in my wallet. I have this everywhere I go now and I've used it several times and to help people out. Um, and it showed on the video there about a screwdriver without a handle. Um, and I actually used it for a saw blade. Um, someone had a, a, a junior hacksaw blade, but no handle. So what I did is I, um, I had one of these in my wallet and I said, I'll tell you, have you got a kettle? They said, yep, yep. I said, right, okay, boil the kettle. So I boiled the kettle. And I made a handle for their junior hacksaw blade so they could cut this key in half uh, that was stuck in a lock. And it was absolutely fantastic. What a thing, you know, they've never been able to do it otherwise. You'd be holding this junior hacksaw blade with your fingers and you end up cutting your fingers and all that sort of thing. And I gave them a handle and now they've got a handle on their uh, junior hacksaw blade permanently. Um, so it's fantastic stuff. Um, I mean, I just to give you an idea, I had uh, another tool I've made. <laughs> Literally, this was, I knocked this up in a couple of seconds. Um, and uh, it's basically, I had to change the stereo in my car. And I don't need, when you uh, get the plastic out and everything, um, you have to, you know, lever the plastic out. Now you can get these the plastic levering tools, and they're about five to 10 pounds wherever, in, in motor fair shops and things like that, and uh, Halfords and what have you, or any of the deal of store. So I thought, you know what, I suddenly remember, I've got some of this form card, so I've got, literally got a sheet of form card, as you can see from the overhead here, and I just made this very simple tool, and it's, rock solid you know and uh, basically you can see it's got this spade like affair it's flat on the bottom and then curved in on the inside and that was perfect for getting in between the plastic all around the dashboard just to lever out this uh, stuff without now if you use a screwdriver you're going to ruin your plastic on your dashboard and scratch it that is now a permanent tool in my toolbox uh, i've literally got to take something out and add something to the back of the stereo the other um, next week when i've ordered a camera for the back of the van so that is going to be in use again and again and again and a fantastic tool and it saved me buggering up my thing and saved me money going and buying having to go down a shop go and get one you know etc etc and um, you know invariably in your local town you won't have one you'll have to send off for one and that's very inconvenient because you have to wait a week to get your tool to do your stereo that you really want to do right now uh, so fantastic little thing as i say this a very simple basic tool uh, but uh, it didn't even, you know, no bells or whistles as you can see, literally knocked that up in about 30 seconds and uh, uh, I was all ready to go 30 seconds later once it had all cooled down and everything, so fantastic. Anyway, I'll give you a quick demonstration uh, about this stuff, all right? Now, what, I, what you do, just a uh, simple, simple little thing, uh, one uh, glass like that, I use, I use a, a big coffee cup, but uh, you can't see inside the coffee cup, so I'll get, I thought I'd get something that's um, clear so you guys can see. It's a nice thick glass, so it shouldn't break. Well, I've just boiled the kettle off camera, so we've got uh, a boiling water, so I'm just going to add this. Okay. And that's it. Now, all you do then is you pop that in and wait. It's as simple as that. And it doesn't take long whatsoever. As you can see, it's already starting to deform in the overhead. Uh, there's hot water, so don't stick your fingers in there if you can help it. Now, um, you, usually you'd have to take it out with a, a spoon or something like that. Um, being a modeler, I have a pair of uh, reverse tweezers that will do just the job. In fact, I'll get a pair that's not so strong. And uh, as you can see, it's already, you know, flubbered, lobbed down and deformed and everything. It's gone really soggy and soft. And now that is ready to go. As you can see, when it starts collapsing like that, 
it's ready to go. You literally just pull it out of the water. Okay, so with a spoon it's a lot easier. All right, you take your water out. Okay, and that's basically it. it now you can do whatever you want with it. Um, I'll give you an idea. Uh, let's say I've got this, which is a camera stand, as you can see. And what you can do is you can mold it like uh, you saw on the video to hold your camera. And you think, I'll tell you what, I know what I want to do. I want to put a screw in there as well. It's very pliable at the moment. As it cools down, it gets harder and harder and harder. And uh, the hotter it is, uh, it will stick to other plastics and things like that as well. Okay, so now it's, it's got to a height where I think, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put it on there. So you literally put it on there, squidge it on. And you can use this for anything. Uh, I've got so many different ideas that I'm going to uh, be doing for my models with this. Uh, things like, um, as you can see, I'm just moulding it around that screw cap there. And this is just an idea to show you how it works. And on the video, you know, you see on the video, it shows you that it's got this, it does this thing with uh, someone else's, um, uh, where they've put it on a camera stand and things like that. Uh, but that that will actually sink into the screw thread and it will dry like that. And, and that's it, that, that's basically it. That's all you need to do is leave it there like that. So I'm just gonna show you that one, but also, um, there are lots of other applications with modding. Now, the other things I was looking at um, are things like you can make your own um, trestles, uh, you can make your own jigs for um, your, I think that's how they come, like just straight on a piece of paper like that, you peel it off, it's got little sticky bits on the back which you take off and uh, you're ready to go. So yeah, so you can make your own trestles for different aircraft. I, mean, I had the idea that um, if you've got, let's say, um, you've got uh, an aircraft here and you want to make a stand for it or a trestle in a special thing, it literally is pop a couple of these in, mould them to what you want and Bob's your uncle. Uh, another thing um, that uh, I, I thought of that uh, I can use it for is I like, I like to have things, I don't like things rolling around on my desk, okay, because for obvious reasons, they end up getting spilt and I get through so many mats and things like that. Um, and, you know, it's good to have stands. Now, you can make a brush stand out of this. Um, you can you can add sheets together. You know, you don't have to be, uh, or, you know, you can add sheets together. Once it gets to really hot, once you get really hot, it sticks to its itself. So you can mold and, and put several sheets together and do whatever you want with it. So um, you've also got things like you can make paintbrush stands, you can make a little thing with holes in it and just leave it on the edge of the best and it's got three stands on it you know uh, three holes in it for three paint brushes or whatever you can do like I said on the thing if you've got uh, scalpels you can make scalpel covers very easily for this if you want to if you're worried about your children or sticking yourself you can have covers for this you can what I've got is I've got an old pair of clippers and I couldn't find them because I wanted to do it for this but um, without the handle one side of the handle has gone literally a sheet of this mold it over the handle and you've got handles back on your clippers again. It's that simple. Uh, any tool replacement handles, things like that, anything that's plastic, it's going to change. Now the other thing is, uh, I don't know if you guys have had this problem, but Tamiya Extra Thin spilt everywhere. Yeah, I mean that is the thing. So um, it works for me, yeah, I spill it all the time. So I'm just going to pop another one in. Okay, now that's still hot, it's not hot, 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 boiling hot but that will still do the job um, and it will get to where you want it to go. See, this is still pliable even now. So you see, I've been talking for a couple of minutes um, and uh, you can see that it's still pliable. So you've still got a chance to think, oh, well, that's not quite right. That's not quite how I want it. So I'm just gonna change it again. Okay, just gonna even that out, you know, move it around again and then leave it. Now, there is a way you can say, well, I've got the shape I want. I don't wanna lose that anymore. How can I speed up the process? Literally, in some cold water. Uh, and that's what I do. And that uh, makes it, that cools it down ever so quickly. And already that's uh, pretty much solid. Okay, so it's a bit of cold water. And that's gonna cool it right down to almost straight away, that's rock solid. Okay, so you saw that stuff went like rubber. And pop that down there, because uh, as you know, I'm known for knocking things over. So I'm just going to dry the cold water off of this, okay, but already that's rock solid, okay. So just let that dry a little bit more, but as you, that is solid, solid. It's back to, back to solid plastic again. Right, okay, now we're into, this one's nearly done, just want to do the top bit of that. 
Okay, so you think to yourself, right, okay, well, I want... Right, sorry, I had someone at the door, I had to drop it back in, so uh, I do apologise, it has crumbed up a little bit there. Um, right, okay, so literally, take it out, and you think, right, okay, well, I want something for my uh, Tamiya thing, so you can do one or two things, you can either just spread it out nicely with your fingers, or you can roll it on your worktop, whatever you want to do. So you're looking at, okay, so I want a nice base, and it stretches out really well, and you think, so if, right, okay, I'm gonna pop my Tamiya bottle in there. Now, you don't wanna make it too shallow, you want it so that it's hard to knock over, okay? So you want, just want something in there. I mean, I've done this before, I've just, literally just thought this just a second ago. So I'm literally, now, the good thing is you think, oh, damn, it's gone cold, too cold too quick. Literally, pop it back in the hot water, okay, for a couple of seconds, like that, and it's mailable again. It really is that simple. So you think, right, okay, a bit more in there, I think. Yeah, there you go. Right, lovely. All right, so now I want to pop that back in because I want the whole base flat. All right, and it literally is that simple. You get it to you happy. Right, okay, so now I know that that's a flat base on there, that my bottle, you can get it even softer and you can wedge your bottle in there so it's even got a, a thing inside the thing itself. So, not pretty, but if you spend time um, doing everything off, so I'm just trying to do this quick for the, for the video, uh, but now you've got uh, something there that, oh, sorry about that, phone's always going off the wrong opportunity. So you've got something that's flat base there, that's done, that's nice and solid now. Okay, that's solid enough for me to pop that into the cold water, and that will solidify that almost immediately. Um, and then that's it, that's all you need is hot and cold water, and it makes the process very quick and easy. So uh, let me take that out, okay, that's, dry it off quickly. I've had fun with this stuff, I tell you, the, the amount of things that you can do with it is, uh, is great. And uh, the wife loves it as well, she can think of lots of ideas. So there you go, so there is literally very quick, okay. So there you go, so as you can see, that was quickly knocked up. This is solid, totally solid now. It takes about another three or four minutes to cure rock rock solid, but that is solid enough. And then you've got a little tray um, that makes it hard, as you can see to knock over your Tamiya, which is a lot easier than going like that, in there, it gives it a little bit safe. Now what you want to do is you want to sink it in a bit more and things like that, but that gives you just an, an idea. You can also use paint mixing trays, uh, you know, and it's quickly just do, 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 done. Okay, uh, have brush holders, you can, you know, you can mount this again, squidge it up, um, oh, well, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll pop it in there. Might need warming up that water now. But, um, anyway, let's, let's get back to this one. Uh, so yeah, so this is hard now. So literally, it's a case of, okay, I wanna take that off. You can unscrew that. Okay. Bit of water in there. All right, so I've just unscrewed that. And as you can see from underneath, uh, you've got the screw thread and everything there. Um, but if you wanna put it back in, that screw thread is actually now made for that, so you can just screw that straight back in, job's done, got your permanent camera stand, and, and it's as simple as that. I mean, this is, this is great, it's a little stand I use for the iPhone and everything, but, you know, it's, that the fact that that screw thread goes rock solid now, okay, and that is rock solid plastic in there, and as you can see, it's not ruined or re-threaded or anything like that, so absolutely fantastic. Take this out, this is ready to be rolled again. Don't do it on your mats, uh, this stuff will stick to your mat. But let's say, okay, I've got a, a near bubble there. Move that. You can, this is just one, you really probably want to combine two or three like this, but you can say, right, okay, well, I want a stand for that one. Okay, and a stand for those two brushes there. And again, these are just very quick things, this is just every 10 seconds to put together. 
Okay, so you've got your feet, you've got your brush stand, right, that's how I want it. That's exactly, just a, I just need a, a, a stand while I'm doing these two things. Take the air, take them out, pop it back in the cold water again. And it literally is that easy, you can shape, reshape. I think their, 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 their motto is melt, mold, make, mend, um, which is good. Um, but there you go, that's solid now. Um, and that's just taking me, what, two seconds, 10 seconds to, to make, heat that up, and there you go, you got your, you got your brush stand. Okay, it's as simple as that. If you just want something quick and easy to hold your brushes up, or you can have a, any, any type of brush stand, you can have your brush stand so that it lays like this, you can make one like that, so your brushes lay on at an angle. <clears throat> you can make holders for your thing. I'm just trying to give you ideas. These aren't, these aren't pretty, but they're just ideas. Um, and from there, you can go anywhere you really want to. I mean, you can put a handle on one of those if you want. You know, your scissors, you can play scissor handles if you want. New caps uh, for, let's say you lost a cap to one of your pens or something like that, um, and you want a new cap. Uh, you know, it, it, it pretty much is, um, the only limit with this stuff is your imagination, I have to say. Uh, I'm making a little uh, stand, a really nice one. I'm gonna make a little stand for my um, putty things and things like that and have it at the side of my desk. You know what I mean, I'm a bit of a neat freak anyway, so something like this works really well for me. But uh, this stuff is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's £5.29 on the website. You get three cards for that. Uh, the choices are multicolored, which you just get them as they come, or you can choose the black, gray, and white one set as well. But, um, you know, it really is, I can't sing the praises enough. I love this stuff. I think it's brilliant. The fact that all you need is hot water and cold water and a, and a, and a rag, obviously, just to dry everything off. But now that is permanent. That is rock solid. That's rock solid. That's rock solid. Um, you know, and it is solid, solid plastic again. It's not, um, you know, uh, I just, I just love the stuff. I can't, I can't, you know, love it as not more than I do. In fact, I can, I'm going to sleep with it. I'm going to sleep with it. It's that nice. No, I think form cards, I think even if you don't use one immediately or can't think of a reason to have one, have one anyway, because I'm not joking. You'll just have a moment. I had uh, suddenly thought, oh, I've got that phone card. I can do that. And literally, go and boil the kettle, <coughs> job done. It's as simple as that. Uh, fantastic stuff. Um, and I would like to say a big thank you to Peter Marigold, who's the owner of, of Form Cards and the uh, genius behind it, um, who works with these polymer plastics and everything. I think you've done an absolutely exceptional job here and you made this very accessible to the general public. And I think that this will become extremely popular in the future and uh, it will be in every household. I mean. Josh loves playing with it. I mean, he can make Lego bricks up. Uh, he could, you literally you put it over Lego bricks. You then got something, a base for your Lego bricks and things like that, they fit in automatically. You know, he thought of that, and it was really good. So <clears throat> I just think you can do anything you want with it. Jigs, you know, whatever. And modeling, oh, one other thing you can do, I did forget to mention. I'm lucky I've got a bit of this. Uh, you can actually cut it. Okay, so if you only want a little strip, it's just with a normal pair of scissors. It's a bit tough, but as long as it's sharp. If you just want a little strip, you say, well, I want to do that bit like that, then I want to do that bit like that. Um, and so you can actually cut the shapes out beforehand and everything as well. Um, absolutely fantastic. So, so um, flexible in the uses it can be used. And that literally are, the uses are literally endless. So it's whatever your imagination can come up with. You can do little pot stands for your paints, all sorts of things. And if you take your time, I mean, as I say, these were just smashed together in seconds. If you take your time sculpting and moulding and things like that, you can come up with some fantastic things. I think they have a little competition each month on the Form Card website um, where uh, you can enter what you've built, made that month, and then you get a prize. I think you get a supply of Form Card as a winner if, you, if yours gets picked as the, 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 um, the best idea for that month. Now, again, a lot of the winners have been not the prettiest thing, it's been the most useful things you know, he loved that, the fact that I did a dashboard removal thing tool. I mean, that's a whole tool in itself. So um, whatever you can think of, you can make up. And I'm sure there are hundreds of applications in the modeling community, in the modeling world, that I haven't even thought of yet, that you guys, once you get your hands on this stuff, I, I, I would, I'm probably gonna hold a competition myself on ISM with this stuff um, to see who can come up with ideas and things like that. 
uh, because I think it's brilliant and I think it can take the modern world by storm. So uh, anyway, that is that is form card. My favourite thing at the moment. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, you can get it from umpretail.com, £5.29 a card. We might do a special offer for four cards or more or something like that. Um, but uh, really, you do need some of this in your life. And it's not just because we sell it whatsoever. It is fantastic stuff. Go and get some. And Peter's a nice guy who owns the company as well. Right, well, that's all for me. I'm going to go and make love to this right now. I'll see you soon in the next show. Take care. Bye-bye.